Hi everyone, it's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this week's video I'm going to be showing you how to do this gorgeous, gorgeous crochet moss stitch, if I let that focus. Look how lovely that is and it's so simple to do and gives such a great effect. I'm making this one into a scarf and I shall be doing a follow up video on how I've done this ruffled edge but for this video I'm just going to be showing you how to do this really simple effective stitch and as you can see I'm making a scarf here and I've used lots of different colours so it's absolutely fantastic to use up all those little ends of yarn that you have left over from projects because you can do each row different colour if you wish and it really makes the stitch stand out I think and uh, yeah I just love this so I'm going to show you how I've done this. So for this stitch I found that using a slightly bigger hook than I would normally do really helped to get an even tension. I've done a video before on crochet tension so I'll put a link down below in the description box to that video showing you you know how I work out what what's the right size hook to use and make sure your work's not too tight or too loose but I found even though I have quite an even tension that I needed a slightly bigger hook to make this pattern work nicely for me. So to start off with I'm using double knit yarn here so I'm normally using a four mil hook and as you can see I'm using a four and a half mil hook so not drastically bigger and we're just going to do a base chain and this base chain can be as long as you like but I, it does need to be an uneven number. So there we go, I have a chain of 15 there, okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to skip that first chain there and we're going to do a double crochet into the next one along, so that's the second, sorry not that one, um, one. yeah that one, that was right, we're going to do a, a, a double crochet into that second chain along, I'm British so I call it a double crochet, but you may know that as a single crochet. So into the second chain along, I'm going to do my double, okay, and I'm going to chain one, I'm going to skip one of those base chains and do a double crochet into the next one along, and I'm going to do that all the way to the end, so that's one chain, skip one base chain and a double crochet. One chain, skip one and a double crochet again all the way to the end and when I get to the end I'm gonna I've got one chain left and into that one chain I'm just going to do a double crochet so every row will end with two double crochets like that, just two in the end, so no chains between them, just two together. So I'm going to cut my yarn, and fasten that off, and there's the first row done. So I'm going to change colours now, you don't have to change colours but I think it does help this stitch stand out more if you do use different colours. And I've just got a green here. I'm going to attach that to my hook with a slip stitch as normal and I'm going to pick up my, my work and I'm going to start working from the other side now. So we've got two double crochets there and we've got a chain space there. So I'm going to slip stitch into that top of that double crochet and attach my yarn like that. And I'm going to do two chains. I'm not going to work into the top of that that double there, but I'm going to put a double in that first chain space along. And I'm going to chain one, skip that double, and do a double into that first chain space along. I'm going to repeat that all the way along to the end. And basically, what you want is you want a, a chain over the top of a double, and into a chain space, you want to put a double. So that's a chain and then a double chain and then a double and when you get to the end remember I said we're going to have two double crochets at the end so there's my first one and the second one will just go into the top of that double crochet there so every row will start with two chains 
and finish with two double crochets after you've done the first foundation row. So I'll cut my yarn, fasten that off, let the camera focus and that's our first two rows done. So I'm going to turn my work over, I'm going to pick up a different colour yarn, well I'm going to just use this grey again, attach it to my hook and again I'm now going to slip stitch into the top of that that double crochet on camera focus into the top of that double crochet like that and again two chains to start the row and I'm going to miss that double crochet there and I'm going to do a double crochet into that chain space so you're overlapping each stitch so again over the top of a double crochet we will have a chain and into a chain space we will do a double crochet and that is as simple as it gets that's all you have to do and you can like I did with the scarf use lots of different colours each row was a different colour or you can just do what I'm doing here and just use two alternate colours and that gives you a lovely stripy effect once you've made a few rows so there's a double crochet, a chain, a double crochet into that chain space and like I said we're, we're going to finish each row with two double crochets so that's one there and then one there and you just repeat that I've done a little sample here and I added some pink in and you're just going to repeat that all the way through your project and I've got another one here that shows you how if you just use two different colours you get this nice sort of stripy effect and I love the way it makes the stitch pop out you can see the detail of it and that's it it takes a, a while to grow <laughs> because you're only doing you know you're not increasing it very much but it does it's not I wouldn't say it's thicker or anything you know it gives it but it's if you were doing your all your work in double crochets it would be much firmer than if you were leaving these gaps. I'm sorry about my camera today, it's been really difficult to focus. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, it's um it's got a nice feel to it. It's sort of it's less firm if you were just doing it all in double crochets because that's quite a, a, a firm stitch and it doesn't twist as much. If you've ever done work in just double crochets you'll notice that your work starts to curl and twist a bit but as you can see this the twist isn't too prominent so I think it's a fabulous stitch and I really enjoy you doing it. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. It's quite a popular stitch at the moment and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. hope you found it helpful. I'd love a thumbs up if you did, if I can get my camera to focus my thumb. And um, why not subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll be doing videos once a week as I have done all this year. So I've got plenty of you to go back and look on. Coming up to my 100th video, uh, I think in October. So yes watch out for a hundredth video then <laughs> not sure what I'll do but we'll do something so give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video leave me comments down below if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye